Hello everybody and welcome back to another lecture in the wireless penetration testing section. Now, in the previous lectures I showed you how to capture the 4-way handshake and how to brute force it with your CPU and GPU. We used two tools called Aircrack and Hashcat and we used some of the already installed uh, word lists basically in Kali Linux. But now let's say you want to create some of your own word lists uh, or you want to target a specific person that you know uh, and you basically know something about them and you wanted to create for example word list that could help you brute force it brute force the password faster now uh, there is a simple program in Kali Linux which comes pre-installed uh, it is called crunch so let me just show you let me just delete the GPU as we do not need it anymore uh, the crunch Let's open the manual for Crunch. It is basically a program that is used to create the word list. As we can see right here, Crunch can create a word list based on criteria you specify. The output form of Crunch can be sent to the screen while a file or to another program, which is really important, this part right here, to another program. And I will show you why in just a second. But before we begin, let me just show you that it has a bunch of options that you Basically, if you want to, you can learn. I don't know most of these options. I basically just open manual and then I specify what I want to make. Now, the simplest use of this would be to, let me just quit this, would be to, for example, type here crunch. And the uh, syntax would be to specify the minimal uh, letters or numbers that you want in the word and the maximum letters or numbers that you want in the word. So, for example, let's say I want to make five, six, all the words that I, I basically want to make a file with the words that have six characters. So, if I just type, right, uh, uh, type it like this, you will notice that it will start printing all of these words right here that are consisted from six characters and it will basically go through all of the all of the combinations there are for these six character words. Now that would take a long time, so let us just close this. Let me just show you before it starts once again that right here it says Crunch will now generate the following amount of data, and you can see how many bytes it will create. The size of the file would be uh, 2,000 megabytes or basically two gigabytes, and the number of the of the basically passwords or lines that you would have in that file is this one, which is I believe 308 million, close to 309 million, which is a lot. It would take a lot, a lot longer. Uh, well, not a lot longer. It would take a lot of time to create this password list, and it would also take a lot of time to complete this password list in uh, in brute forcing, especially if you use Aircrack and your CPU and also especially if you use it on a virtual machine as we saw that the speed of aircrack on our Cal Linux machine was only 350 passwords per second now imagine running that with uh, running that speed with this password list it would take you months to finish but that is just the simple use of this password list you can also change the numbers for example let's say we want to make all the passwords that contain between 3 and 5 letters or characters we can see that this is a lot smaller. Uh, it will basically print out all the passwords with three to five characters. As we can see, it really fast finished the first uh, three uh, character words and the four character words, and now it is on to the five character words, which will actually take the most of the the most of the file. Let me just see the size of it. It was 70 megabytes, and it has around 20 million passwords right here which is basically somewhere a, a little less than the rockyou.txt password list that we used before. Uh, just in the rockyou.txt password list, there are a bunch of passwords that were already, I believe, hacked before, and they were put in that file as the passwords that were mostly used by other users online. So those are legit passwords used at some point by some user on some website. Let's say we want to specify something else in greater detail with Crunch. So let's open manual Crunch and let's go to the, some of the examples that they have right here. As we can see, example 1, 
crunch 1 to 8 and it gives you the explanation which is basically crunch will display a word list that starts at A and ends at Z, 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 which means it will create the word list of all the words contain, containing between 1 and 8 characters. The crunch 1 to 6, A, B, C, D, E, F, G will create the word lists, the, the word list uh, that contains a words between 1 and 6 characters that only have these 7 characters right here which is A, B, C, D and E, F, G. Uh, example 3 would create, you can, well let's not create, let's not read all of them. Let's just go down here and see if there is anything interesting that we might need. Size file, this is not, you can also specify the size of the file as we can see right here. The first three files are 20 megabytes. And these are just a bunch of the options that you can specify. We do not want to actually bother with all of them. But you can specify, however, what, or not specify, what is important to you are these characters right here. Once you specify them, let me just find where exactly are they are they written they all represent uh, sin, uh, here they are with the minus this is option that you want to know or not know that you want to know that it exists uh, the minus t command and then these three or four symbols specify pattern uh, where the only yeah well we specify the pattern where you have a, for example a word in that pattern and all the other symbols will change. As we can see, the add symbol will insert lowercase letters. So let's say they, someone specified this password. They know that the god word is actually consisted in the entire password of that wireless network. So he specifies the add will insert lowercase characters. The comma will insert uppercase characters. The percentage sign will insert numbers and the upper, this upper arrow right here will insert symbols. Now let me show you, let's actually try that. So we press Q and let's say we type here something like this. We want the seven word, uh, the seven character passwords that basically have, let's say, lower letters than the word, for example, word and then comma for the number, I believe it is a number, so let's try to see what it will print. It only has 300,000 passwords. Uh, it wasn't a word, it was only a comma. Oh yeah, I forgot, I specified, I forgot to specify the minus T option. So after that you need to specify minus T option and only then you can use this. And right now it will print all the words as we can see right here. Now the comma was a capital letter, not a number, as we can see by the last letter right here. They are all capital. Then the first two are smaller characters they, that went through all of the combinations. And we can see in the middle there is a word that we specified it to be there. So you can also specify, let's say, a bigger password list. So let's use the same, but right now let's use the upper arrow and another upper arrow. And here what we want to do is minus, or not minus, we want to specify nine letter, char uh, nine character word list. This will be a lot larger as we can see. And we can see that those upper arrows represent symbols. So we said the, the, at the end there should be two symbols and there really are. Now I'm not really sure why there is a zero at the end of every, you can see right here, word zero, zero, zero. Let me just check something. Now it's not zero, it is, no, it is zero. I'm not really sure why is it there, but it doesn't really matter. As we can see, these are the symbols that we specify at the end and the capital characters and the smaller letter characters. Now, the thing that you need is uh, to write this to a file for uh, basically you do not want to just output it in the terminal like this you want to write it somewhere to a file so you can use it later on now in order to do that basically just type here crunch and then for example let's say you want all the five letter words and then crunch it into passwords.txt and as you can see it will 
basically put all of these, I believe, 11 million or even more, yeah, around 11 million passwords into the passwords.txt file. If we cat the passwords.txt file right now, you will see all of these file letter passwords stored in there. So now that we now that you did that, you can basically just run a simple air crack dash 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 ng minus w and then your password list and then the uh, the file that contains your handshake. Now I'm not really sure what happened right here. You can see it is laggy, so key not found. Did I specify something wrong? Let me just check it once again. If I run it... Let me just check... Let me just... I'm not really sure why isn't it outputting it right here. So let us use... User share word lists... Common... Oh no, let's go lockq.txt. And let's see if... Okay, so right now it wants to work, not really sure. It could be because of the passwords that are only five letters long. It could be something like that. Not really sure why. It doesn't even matter. What we will do right now is I will show you how you can use crunch in order to pipe that into the air crack. Now, by pipe, I mean in order to use the output of the crunch command and use it as the input in the air crack command. Therefore, you do not need to have any password list and you can use as many passwords as you want as long as you have time to finish it. Now, in order to do that, basically, you do, uh, once you type a basic command, which is crunch, 3.3, this will not write all of these passwords to any file, it will only output it right here. We want to use that and pipe it to the aircraft program, so the aircraft program reads from our output right here and uses that in order to compare the hashed password. Now, how we do that? We do that simply like this. So, crunch, and let's actually try to attack my password uh, or my Wi-Fi. We know that my password is this one. This is the password of my wireless network. Uh, and let's actually do an attack on it and pipe it. So crunch 12, 12, since that has 12 characters, I believe. Let me just count. Yeah, it has 12 characters. Minus T option. And let's say, for example, we know that the f that the first four letters, for example, yeah, let's say we only know the first four letters of the password, or let's say the first six letters, so it performs faster. So we know that this has that this is a part uh, of the password, and what we want to do after that is basically just specify. I believe it was this one for the smaller characters, and this one is for the numbers. Now this will run all. Uh, this will run all of the all of the combinations with two characters, or not two characters. Let me just see. Yeah, two smaller characters and four different numbers. And we want to pipe that. And to pipe it, you use this command right here, or not command. This character right here, which is the basically straight uh, line. Upward straight line, and you type here where the program where you want to pipe it. So we want to pipe it, pipe it to aircrack dash and g minus w, and then minus, and then the name of your dot .cap file. And if you, yeah, I wanted to show you this as well. It will say please specify an SSID or PSSID. We know that the ESSID is the name of the wireless and the BSID is the MAC address of the wireless. Now, it would be easier for us to specify the ESSID, which would be just the name of your wireless. In my case, it is, it is this one. You specify it with minus E command for the SSID and then you just type here the name of your wireless network. Basically, a simple name that you can check out on your mobile phone. Once you do that and you have this command right here, aircrack minus ng minus w and then minus and space scan and then the, or any other or, or any name of the file that you've written 
and then minus E and then the name of your wireless network. And if you run this, it will give us this, uh, it will start running it and you can see it is basically trying all of the combinations right here. As we can see it is using currently the first letters which is, which is AA and then it is brute forcing it with different numbers. Now as we can see this will take a lot longer than I thought it would take so we will just close it right here. If I can close it. Yeah, I'm not really sure why it isn't closing. Let me just... Weird. Let me just close it like this. So we will close it once again and then we will run it. Let me just enlarge this so you can see it better. And let's run the same command, but right now we do not want to run it with numbers. Let's say we know the full, the all of the characters that are consisted in our password and we do not know the numbers that come after. So let's see how fast this will take. It should only brute force the number part. I believe it should have already guessed the password. But for some reason it didn't, it went through it. Let us see, we can wait for this to finish, it will take only a few more seconds as it is already on the number 6. If it doesn't find it, I'm not really sure why it didn't find it. Let's just wait for this. Oh, we did find key. But why did it say it at the end? I'm not sure. Uh, it could possibly be that the key, that the number zero was at the end of the list that it used. Not really sure why, but we now see that it did find the password. So our attack was successful. We were able to pipe the output of crunch command into the aircraft command and actually brute force it with this. We didn't need any password list. So for example, if you wanted to, you could use 12 character passwords, you can use it just like this and then specify it to try all of the 12 character passwords. But the problem is that this will take uh, thousands and millions and billions of years to finish, especially with this speed right here. So it wouldn't really be smart for you to try to brute force 12 character passwords like this. But if you want to, there is an option right here. It won't work though, but it is there. So. That would be about it for this crunch command. Uh, we will continue with another tool in the next lecture where I will show you how to make a password list that could be specifically used for a single person that you might know. Uh, it doesn't have to be used only on wireless network. It can be used to brute force any account you want from that person. Uh, and we will do that in the next tutorial. And I hope I see you there. Bye.